Hi, I'm Drexter Dupre. This month, the Drex Files is reporting from the Bay Area Video Coalition in San Francisco. Every year for the past three years, the Producers Institute has brought together documentary filmmakers and interactive media people from all over the country. Joining me now here at the Bayvec Second Life studio is Wendy Levy, Director of Creative Programming. Thanks for coming, Wendy. Can you give us a brief overview of what you guys do here at Bayvec? Bayvec is a 32-year-old nonprofit organization whose real vision is to change the world through stories and provide access for underserved communities through art, education, and technology. We have numerous programs here. One is the Producers Institute, but we also train thousands of young people every year in digital media and help them get jobs in audio, video, and game design. We work with professional communities, so folks at Pixar and Lucas, they come and train here on the newest technologies. And we also preserve works of art. We have a nationally known audio and video preservation center so that folks like Museum of Modern Art and the Smithsonian have videotapes, analog tapes that are disintegrating. We can restore and preserve and digitize those works of art so they can be shared widely. And now what exactly is the Producers Institute? The Producers Institute is a 10-day residency designed for documentary filmmakers who are interested in developing and designing a multi-platform interactive project that's inspired by the story of their film. So what we're looking to do here is to really create projects for a participatory culture that are truly collaborative and that have social justice agendas. As you pointed out, Bayvec is all about bringing arts, culture, human rights, and social issues and technology together. I was wondering, do you encounter inhibitions from filmmakers who just want to get the film done, get it out, and uh, kind of question why they're now supposed to develop a website, a game, a social network even to, to go with their film? Absolutely. There's a real paradigm shift, and it's created a whole new role for filmmakers and a whole new world for them to have to negotiate and navigate and operate in in order to be successful storytellers and to get their story heard by new and hyper-engaged audiences. And so for old school filmmakers who grew up, you know, shooting 16 millimeter film with the be all and end all of a PBS broadcast or a theatrical release, this is something completely different. And many of them have turned their backs on this kind of work. But for the lion's share, the whole impetus behind telling the stories of underserved communities and ignored places on this earth is to change hearts and minds and to really seed movements and transformation. And so if that's truly what you want to do, you've got to embrace these new tools. And how do you do that? How do you get them to embrace these tools? First and foremost, put filmmakers with technologists who speak different languages in order to create something new and innovative and transformative. And so for a documentary filmmaker making a film about the crisis in public health to sit down with a data visualization expert from Google, what can happen in that space is, we feel, really extraordinary. Do filmmakers feel overwhelmed, distracted perhaps by the multitude of, of presentations you have here in these 10 days? It's, it's a very compressed uh, time. I'm not making their work any easier. And I'm a filmmaker from back in the day. I mean, when I graduated from film school, they came out with the first version of Final Cut Pro. And so my education was out the window. But that's not exactly true because I learned how to be a storyteller. And that's still the essence of what this is. For the technologists, they get to work in social change where they may not be doing that in their regular lives. And the filmmakers get to have an impact in the social media space and reach audiences that were previously beyond their wildest dreams in a world that's in crisis. This kind of thing is tremendously important. So so whether that is signified by developing a mobile tool that can actually get their voices heard halfway around the world, we believe that that seeds movements for change better than almost anything. So when you walk around the halls here, you have some really nice editing suites. Where do you get the funding for all the equipment? We do rely on the contributions of individuals and foundations and corporations. Adobe donates so much software here to enable us to train every teacher in the state of California for free. We're so lucky to be here in Silicon Valley and everybody's based right around here. They know that we're here training the community on the tools that they're developing and that's the model for sustainability moving forward. Thank you, Wendy, for speaking with us today. That was Wendy Levy from the Bay Area Video Coalition. I'm Draxer Dupre, almost live in Second Life and the 2009 Producers Institute at Bayvac in San Francisco. More conversations with filmmakers and artists to come. Much more. 
Stay tuned.